mute button on this and talk to you guys as I try to figure out what's going on today. Yesterday was Sunday and Sunday was the last day of the flag football competition. My team lost in the first round of the playoffs. <laughs> it's kind of funny because there's a video on Instagram of me warming up for the game. I was being stupid and uh, I essentially gave myself turf toe. Like I sprained my foot or sprained my toe. It's very painful. I was not expecting it to be this painful, but I can't like walk properly. So I'm walking with a limp, very uncomfortable. I entered the flag football competition thinking that, uh, quite frankly, I didn't think that there would be any athletic people. I thought it was just gonna be mostly gym people that um, maybe like watching football and they decided to play. I didn't think that there would be actual athletes playing. So I thought that I was gonna be able to do the flag football thing and somewhat cruise through it. Like I never intended to do anything at 100%. I never, like let's get something straight. I will never put myself in, in jeopardy or put myself in a position to get injured. And that was the uh, thought process with the flag football tournament. I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to, number one, get myself injured. I didn't want to make a video and be like, hey guys, you know what I'm saying? I'm so sorry. I actually will not be competing in the IPF world because I tore my ACL playing flag football. I actually picked up the camera to uh, talk to you guys about the Arnold. So the Arnold starts this weekend as I'm filming this, and this is probably gonna be the last video that I'm gonna upload before the Arnold, but I will be flying out to the Arnold Thursday morning. So I'll arrive in Columbus, Ohio Thursday. I'll train at a random powerlifting gym there. So I will be going with junk. So look for the junk booth in the, in the Arnold Convention Center area. Uh, that's where we'll be at on Friday from 12 to two. And then I believe uh, three to five on Saturday, something along those lines. <laughs> Oh my god. <clears throat> Whoa. <coughs> Almost just threw up on camera. I just had a little throw up in my mouth. Give me a second. We're back. <laughs> oh my gosh. So uh, the meet and greet schedule for the Arnold, at, for the junk booth at Arnold is going to be Friday, 12 to 2 p.m. and then Saturday, 9 a.m. to 11 uh, a.m. and then 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. So those are the times I'm gonna be there. Saturday, once again, I'll have it like here somewhere on the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and, and get these orders up in my car, head on to the gym, work out. Today's bench, cause it's Monday, then we also got chest and back workout. I just wanna get in and out, work out, get a good pump, dip on out, and then uh, have, a pretty, have a pretty productive day. <clears throat> that was really disgusting, by the way. Sick. I always say, I always say that the music that plays in the gym sometimes sounds like music that would be playing in like Abercrombie and Hollister back in the day. Honestly, like, whenever I say that I don't like the music in the gym, it's more tongue in cheek because I know that there's some gym members here that are uh, getting personally trained that don't like listening to hip hop, and I completely understand that. It's just me making jokes, so. And whenever I make jokes about the music that's playing in here, it's nothing malicious. My hating. I'm, I'm hating a little bit, but I understand there's context as to why the music is the way it is sometimes. A very long time, I was just kind of uh, walking into the gym, 
and looking at whatever bar, there's like probably five or six Ohio Power Bars now uh, that they kind of re-upped on more Power Bars here in the gym. So I kind of neglected where my actual bar that I bought, like on my channel, uh, last year I actually bought my own uh, KG Ohio Power Bar and I kind of lost track of where it's been inside of the gym. I just don't pay attention to it and I finally got it back. It's right over here. Say hello to my little baby. But I mean, like it's been on here for a very long time. I just, you know, been ignoring it for the, very, for the longest. And I just want to get back to having my personal bar that I lift with. It's very awkward to get in my benching position now. Like, usually I have a set routine that I get into to kind of ensure that I'm getting tight and uh, be familiar with things that I'm doing. But right now, my foot is so fucked up that it feels very awkward doing my normal routine. So like, I'm doing like a different thing to kind of alleviate the, the, the pain that I have in my foot. Um, I'm still able to bench pretty effectively without like putting pressure into the tippy part or the upper part of my foot. Cause like all the pain and the uncomfortable part of having this turf toe is like the toe area. My heel's fine, my midfoot's fine, but putting that pressure on my toe is very uncomfortable. So I'm gonna try to avoid that as I'm finding my group on bench. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I just act like I was about to say something more. honest I'm not satisfied with today's single uh, it was ended up being 395 pounds I was thinking to get into the like very very low 400s I was thinking it's probably like gonna be 415 for today's single then back off sets with maybe like 355 but it is what it is uh, I'm not too mad at it technique was solid but we have a 4x5 4x5 at RP of I forgot damn I forgot I'm gonna go ahead let me, let me look real quick it's supposed to be an RPE of Seven to eight, so relatively, relatively hard, but still smooth for the most part. But once again, four by five, three hundred thirty-five pounds per set. Tuesday. Super tired. My daddy said, yeah, nigga. Uh, let's just get to it. So, as I discussed yesterday, my toe is, I have turf toe. I have a sprained toe. I have a sprained top part of my foot. So, it's going to be very awkward to squat, or I don't even know. We're going to figure it out. But I do feel a lot better after having a night of icing it on and off. So, I think that today will be pretty manageable. We're supposed to work up to a single, an RP of 7 to 8, then do a 3 by 3 So, today's workout should be pretty fast. Hopefully, I can manage the pain and hopefully I can find a position that doesn't put too much strain on my foot. Actually, as I'm warming up, I'm starting to find that my foot is not bothered whatsoever with the positions that I'm finding myself in squat. So uh, we're full sail right now. And uh, let's continue warming up. We have 315 pounds on the bar, then 405 with the belt, then 495 with the belt, hopefully 585 with the belt. <laughs> and then we'll see what's good for the top single for today's workout. So, uh, still warming up. 
But I'm starting to, like, I just feel very awkward squatting. I don't know what it is. Like, I just feel super duper tight. Even though I spent, like, a very long time warming up, uh, these last couple of days, I less, these last couple of squat sessions, I've been spending about, like, 15, 20 minutes warming up to get my body ready for squats. And uh, today, I just feel a little bit tight. Uh, just a little bit annoying. Let's move on to 495 pounds and uh, hopefully it moves better. You ain't got the ass in when you see me, no, I'm straight. Easy over here, yeah, we back again, we gon' play. Just a love. We can go to mama, doesn't mean it will. Man, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. That, uh, that single, that warm up single of 495 was, uh, was pretty heavy. <laughs> it felt really awkward. Like, it just felt, it felt like a brick. Like, as soon as it, as soon as I lifted off the rack, I was like, damn, like, this shit's heavy. So uh, I might bump it up to four to 545. So that'd be uh, 25 pounds on each side. And uh, just cruise on on with that being a top single. And then uh, do 495 for my three by three because that just felt like really, really bad. I don't know what it is with today, but um, there's no there's no like answers I have. It's just like, if that's what my body's telling me today, that's what my body's telling me today. So it is what it is. It just sucks to do such, such low, low, low weights. <laughs> so uh today was is it's cap it's trash it's like one of those days you can't explain i'm actually going back and forth with my boy sean noriega that's competing uh friday and we're just like going back and forth about days that you literally can't explain inside of the gym where like you think that you're gonna be, you think you're gonna come in and have a pretty good session, but then when you get inside the gym, everything feels like shit, and you forget how to lift in a sense. And like days like this, I usually feel indifferent. I'm just like, all right, man, it is what it is. I can't really control anything. Uh, there's no real explanation for it. I just feel really bad, and, and the weight's not moving, so that's perfectly fine. Like, I'm not too mad about it. Like, it's whatever. Uh, we're just going back and forth. Like, he discussed something that happened to him recently in training. He couldn't really describe it, and it just happened. Like. He failed on a weight that like he hits all the time, and it's like I struggled with, four, <laughs> with 545 pounds, and that's like rep work for me or uh, rep weight for me. I'm like, there's no real explanation for it. It just is what it is. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do 495 for my three x three at an RP of seven to eight, which is like unfathomable for me. I don't know, whatever. I'm just gonna get the rest of this workout in and uh, dip one out. <laughs> No cap, my crib is dirty as hell right now. I got stuff everywhere. I'm actually about to start packing for the Arnold. I leave tomorrow morning at 9.45. Uh, got some new shoes. The reason I was getting a lot of uh, just uh, ads for these shoes, and I was like, yo, let me let me go ahead and pick up these Jerusalem 12s real quick. But uh, these are, honestly, I like these. I'm gonna be wearing these for errands and just like running around the apartment and stuff like that but i like these these are dope this is from herschel it's a collab with herschel and teva or teva i'm not this is not a sponsored post or anything but i just think they're dope so yeah these drew some 12s are gonna do me right i have been literally kind of all over the place today um i'm actually gonna be coming to the end of this video now i did go to the gym earlier today i went pretty early in the morning and i was able to hit a 385 pound bench for four reps for one set and then I backed off and did 355 pounds for the rest of the workout. I want the crux of this video to be kind of the fact that there's gonna be some days in training that you just literally cannot explain. Like, you have to understand that there's gonna be days that shouldn't be understood. Uh, for the most part, you might encounter a day that you can't explain anything that's going on. Like yesterday. Yesterday I hit a single on squat of 545 pounds, which is well below the weights that I'm used to working with and there's no real explanation for that uh, there might be a couple things here and there that may be able to explain that but for the most part that is very 
that is a huge underperformance. I wasn't tripping that much about it. Like I know certain lifters, like they'll start being like, whoa, what, what, what did I do? Did I eat a one gram of protein less than I normally do? Did I, did I miss out on 20 grams of carbs that I should've eaten the day prior? Like, why is this happening? But at the same time, there's me. I'm just like, eh, it happens, you know? I'm not gonna stress too much about it. I'm just gonna let it be and, and charge to the game. And I think that a lot of you guys can benefit from that. Sometimes there's gonna be days in training that you literally just can't explain. You're just gonna have to look at that day and be like, Damn, that was weird. All right, on to the next. Like, that's not gonna be my last trading session, and I think that my next squat day is gonna be nice. I got Saturday to be my next squat day, and I can prove to myself that that was just an aberration. Like, that doesn't normally happen, which it doesn't, and I know that. So I just wanna kinda of reflect to you guys and kinda of explain to you guys, you know, sometimes in training there's gonna be shit that happens, you just literally can't explain it, and it's perfectly fine. Just kinda of just like understand that uh, you gotta be able to see the force for the tree right like the tree is this shitty day in training but the forest is like overall progression and sometimes that tree is gonna look bad but the forest looks beautiful <laughs> that's pretty much it for that little part of the discussion but i will be uh leaving for the ohio like i mentioned earlier tomorrow tomorrow's thursday so i'll be flying in like around uh one o'clock in the afternoon in columbus so i will be at the junk booth which is going to be booth number 1428 I'll be there Friday, 10 to 12, or 12 to 2 p.m. on Friday, and then Saturday is going to be 9 to 11, and then I'll come back 3 to 5. So once again, Friday, I'll be there at 12 to 2, and then after that, I'll also be at the powerlifting meet that's going to be happening on Friday. I'm going to be supporting Joey and Sean. I'm going to be a spectator. I'm just going to be watching, supporting the homies and all that. And then Saturday, I'll come back and uh, be there 9 to 11, then 3 to 5. So those are the two days I'm going to be at the junk booth. I'll also probably just be walking around chilling. So if you guys want to say what's up, come say what's up to the boy. But that's pretty much it, guys. I got to pack. Uh, go record this podcast right now, then edit this video. Like, tonight's just going to be a long night. I'm probably not going to get too much sleep. But that's perfectly fine because that's 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 the life I choose. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for tuning into today's video. Like always, this video is... I just... I'm sorry. Like always, if you guys like today's video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Do better today. I'm back. Check it out. I don't do white music. I don't do black music. I make what you call rap music. Rhythm and poetry is food for thought. Call it snap music. Food stamps ambassador.